Hello everyone, welcome back to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, I will walk you through shortening a coat. So this is a spectacular coat that you have in your closet and you don't wear it because it's too long, it won't be a problem anymore. So let's go. In fact, what I have here is an ensemble that belong to my customer grandma. It's a coat and a skirt. And I am reducing the skirt for probably about four sizes. And I'm taking at the side, shortening, trying to move the darts, etc. But that's not the video of today. Let's go to the video of today. This is the coat. And I don't know if you can see, but it is been all around. This coat has to be reduced all the way, the sleeve, the back, the front, the shoulders, everything, and shorten as well. So what I'm gonna do, I will start by marking the hem, and I will try to make the hem exactly the same as the original. I can see that the tag that says the material and the care instructions will be on the way, so I will remove it before I cut it, and I will save it for later. So I pin it and this is uh, the length is where the black square is, like uh, almost at the end. And I will go and mark around all the hem. And I will make sure that the front and at the back is all together. And I'm just checking the bottom part to see that everything will be okay. After I have the hem marked, I will mark two inches more for folding and then I will cut around. But I will not cut the coat together as sometimes I do. I will cut it separate because the material is a little bit thick and it can move by cutting it. Then what I'm gonna do, I will reserve my pieces because I will copy everything after. And then I will go back to my pins that I have on top and I will go and take in the shoulders, the sleeve, everywhere first because the hem is the last thing you do when you do those kind of job. Now it's all taken in. Look at those shape. It looks fantastic. This took me a little bit more than I anticipated just because I wanted to match all those lines. I think this is very important for a good finish. Now let's go back to our business. So as you can see, I want to show you the original and the cut and I will copy exactly the same as it is. You see the lining folded. The first thing I need to do is to shorten the lining a little bit more. Usually the lining is a little bit shorter. A good measurement is you cut the lining at the right length of the jacket and you should be okay. And look at that, this is where the label was and I would have been cut it if I would not move it. Now I place it on top so it's all okay. I mark my lining and then I will open a little bit the side of the facing just enough to be able to cut the lining. I will do that in both sides and I will cut my first side of the lining because you know I had the slit at the center back so it's basically I have to do like two hem. Then I will mark the lining on the other side and I will repeat do the same. My next step is a step that I love to do it, but not everybody does it, but I feel more comfortable when I do. I will iron my hem the way the length is supposed to be. And when I create that crease, is everything easier when you try to go and work on it. This is the facing. Um, iron it and I will be ironing all the corners the way it's supposed to be. Then I'll go to my sewing machine and I will go to secure all the seams. And then after I'll go back to my ironing and I will put facing just where there is none. This facing is very good to give a nice finish to your hem. I put my face in and grease it again. And now stay with me because this method looks difficult, but is in fact doable and that will allow you to do big alterations. We are going to start with our first facing corner and I'm folding where the hem is supposed to be 
and I'm making the edge of the hem at the edge of the lining coincide to get the point where the lining will be folded. Then I will mark it and then I will fold it over and I will sew it. Then I'm going to display my hem. First folding the whole hem and then folding in the facing in the way that the facing will be finished. Then I will open again and I will fold it back where the original crease of the facing is. This is very important for a well finished facing. And then I will check where the folding of the hem is and then I will go like a, if this is the crease I will go just one millimeter or two millimeter lower than that and I will go until one quarter inch of the hem and you see now I have my crease well done everything very nice and I will finish the rest inside but you see you have a lot of material inside so we are going to eliminate the excess but to do that you have to be sure that you have an appropriate length because then you cannot really lengthen it so much so I'm gonna fold it back again and I will cut the square that is inside you see you have to be careful don't cut everything and then I will put it back again in the nice way and then still there is a little bit of the piece that I can cut because it's doing anything inside. Now I will have less material, will be less bulky. Remember that I'm working with a thick wool even if you don't see it. And now I will see the seam allowance of the facing. As you can see, it's better to have the seam allowance facing to the opposite. But just the one that is in the hem is good to have it inside. So I will snip this part so I can have one side facing in and the other facing out. And now I can sew the lining and the hem together. But I will just sew one little piece. I won't sew too much because I want everything open for now. And then I will fold in the seam allowance and pin it. And as you can see, our first part of the hem is done and it looks pretty much the same as the original. Now we are going to the other corner of this side. And by now you are an expert on what to do. We are going to do exactly the same. Open the lining, fold it, mark the line, finish the facing, cut out the excess of material, and then snip and sew together lining and hem. And then I will fold again and then it's almost done. And what I have to do, I will put my coat inside out from the other side. And then I'm going to sew together lining and hem. And it would be a good idea to use hem fusing tape just because after you iron it, it will secure better the hem, although it's not strictly necessary. But what is very important is that you tack all the seams. Wherever there is a seam, you fold and tack and this is very important because that is what really keep the hem in place i remember i did an alteration and i forgot to tack that and the customer came and picked up <laughs> and it, oh my gosh it looks no don't forget that please <laughs> well i tack all my seams and now i can flip back my jacket and the first part in my jacket is done and the second part is just easier because now you know what to do. I will start with my first corner, you know what to do. And then the second corner, which is the inside of the slit, is the easiest. In this case, I will start by sewing lining and hem together. And as I said before, it's just a few inches, three, four inches at most. And when I see that everything is okay, then I will go and fold my hem in the opposite way. And then I will pin that and I will make sure that my lining is all fold and straight and nice. Fold and straight. Oh my. And uh, you see, 
after I flip back and then I will go and do a top stitch and uh, you see it looks fantastic exactly as the original now I have to sew the lining and the rest of the hem together and let's do it in the simple way I will start in one corner and then I will sew until more or less the center like a half of it and then I will flip it don't forget your tacking and your hem fusing tape I will flip it back and then I will go to the other corner from the other corner and then in this case I will go and sew as much as I can again my fusing tape and then I will tack what I need to tack I'm just leaving a small hole probably two inches more or less and then I will finish this hole by hand you see I will finish as well all the corners that I put pins by hand now I'm doing something like a slip stitch more or less to close the lining and I will do the same in all those corners and I will make sure that secure everything and now I will just have to go to my iron table and iron my hem and now you can see that the hem fusing tape did this job and is all done and here you go guys this is the result it looks all together this suit belong to my customer grandma and if I'm playing favorites well you know this is the way the customer look she looks fantastic and hope that you like this video please let me know in the comments if you really understood people always say that they cannot do those kind of job because it's too difficult and if there is a point that needs further clarification please let me know in the comments and if you find this video useful please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe share comment bye